One of the problems we have is the uh, return line to the tank has to return to the bottom of the tank, and this one doesn't. So we've extended the um, banjo fitting, because these are uh, fuel tanks off a of Mercedes-Benz truck, so that'll make some people happy, I guess. Maybe not. And they have banjo fittings in their metric. So I've extended the pipe down to reach down to the bottom of the tank. But then in the fitting here, there was a, uh, it was sort of tapered in. And I actually, by the look of it, I've silver soldered this one here and as well. So the question is, how do you drill that out without anything falling inside the tank? Hmm? Well, this is what I came up with. <laughs> Aerosol can, insulation taped to the bottom of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and drilled with the other hand. Hey, eh? where there's a will, there's a way. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Straight in the tank. If it got any further away, I would have been buggered. <laughs> anyway, that's enough bullshit from me. This has to go through the banjo fitting down to the bottom of the tank. <clears throat> I can see it's actually touching diesel, and you can see just here how far it is. Now, hopefully. That'll just rest on the bottom, or a bit better, maybe just flex, because we don't want it shaking, you know, like you don't want it going, shaking around when you're driving along. Not that it's going to do much driving this thing, because it'll just fatigue and break off. So, this here is, if you don't have this return pipe on, you'll lose prime when your diesel's not running. You've got to have the return on a diesel going to the bottom of the tank. Um... A lot of people, diesels lose prime when they're not running and they think it's the lift pump or they put a couple of non-return or check valves depending on what type of the work, part of the world you're from. And what it is, is the return line's letting air in because it actually siphons back and when it siphons back down the supply line to the tank, it has to be able to, has to be airtight all the way back into the diesel in the bottom of the tank so the diesel actually gets sucked up the return line so that you don't get any air in the injector pump and that's why you lose prime when you're not running.